As uh, the International Space Station flies 250 miles south of Australia, now. soon uh, to enter an orbital sunrise over the Pacific Ocean, a ghostly view of Oleg Kononenko at the end of the uh, Strela boom. You can see uh, on the right side of the habitation module, that is the insignia of the Russian space agency, Roscosmos. Just above it in this orientation are the uh, Cyrillic letters for the word Soyuz. He will be using his cutting tools to cut a 10-inch swath of insulation from about uh, the first O in the word Roscosmos on that insignia vertically as you're looking at this orientation to expose uh, the debris shield underneath as we have just passed the three and a half hour mark into the spacewalk. Another spectacular view of uh, Oleg Kononenko, his feet uh, squarely planted in a foot restraint at the end of the Strela boom. The station uh, flying over the Tasman Sea, a great view of the orbital module, the top section of the Soyuz vehicle, where uh, Kononenko will use cutting tools a short time from now to uh, cut through a small piece of thermal insulation and then the debris shield underneath for his inspection work. We are three hours and 38 minutes into the spacewalk. It is this Soyuz vehicle that will undock from the Rosviet module to which it is attached and has been since June 3rd. That undocking is scheduled next Wednesday night, December 19th. That will send uh, Prokopiev, Serena Onan Chancellor and Station Commander Alexander Gerst on their way towards a re-entry and a landing on the steppe of Kazakhstan at 11.03 p.m. Central Time on December 19th which will be 11.03 a.m. at the landing site in Kazakhstan on December 20th, wrapping up a 197-day mission, 195 days on board the International Space Station. I will need, uh, or I should have uh, moved the uh, Kapu EVA-2 carrier first. Okay, I will return it to the previous location. Oleg, how are you doing? What did I do? So you got some rest before the most important task, Oleg. Is that true? I'm looking at the poor Sergei. Yeah. I am relocating Kapu carrier. You can move to Oleg right now. Oleg, do you understand the location or the position we try to configure? So we will try to move you closer to the working zone right now? Yes, of course I understand. Yes, I understand that we try to optimize our time right now. I will repeat this step again. And now uh, Prokopiev, uh, wearing the suit with the blue stripes, has joined uh, Kononenko at the work site as they uh, prepare for a handoff of the cutting tools 
that Kononenko will use. And after that, I will need to rotate it. Kononenko is no stranger to this type of activity back on July 10th, 2008. Kononenko joined Sergei Volkov it's a bit short. to use tools to no. cut away thermal no, insulation on the Soyuz TMA-12 spacecraft and now move that enable them to inspect uh, the pyrotechnic separation mechanisms on the vehicle in the wake, in the wake of a, a pyrotechnic issue that resulted in a partial module separation failure in April of 2008 on the Soyuz TMA-11 vehicle that brought home Yuri Malenchenko, Peggy Whitson, and South Korean astronaut So Yun Yi, who uh, made a ballistic landing some 300 miles short of their intended landing zone in Kazakhstan. Will you be able to reach that valve? When Sergey moves me back, yes. Okay. I hope so. And uh, attach your small, large red there. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought about. So I should position myself and then immediately secure myself with the red. That's exactly right. Uh, will that it be a secure uh, attachment? I believe so. I am moving a little bit above the Soyuz vehicle. How is it, Sergei? It is better. At least it is better. Still, it is not perfect and not in the heel clip fully. I cannot understand why uh, the heel clip would not cut the rate. So how should I turn the foot restraint? As he continues uh, now to use a knife to uh, cut away thermal insulation and try to get uh, to uh, the orbital uh, meteoroid debris shield underneath that he hopes to be able to cut uh, to expose the hull of the habitation module of the Soyuz for sample collection of any epoxy sealant that may have extruded during the repair of a hole on the inside of the habitation module back on August 29th. Олег, this is Moscow, go ahead. Okay, there should be some kind of a transverse ribbon. What? Do you remember uh, the ribbon that uh, is glued to MMZ? Uh, so it should be something like that inside. No, I do not see it right now. Of course, it is closer to the valve. Yes. You know, uh, it uh, would uh, be nice if you cut something that uh, should not be cut, uh, some kind of, uh, that is not necessary to cut. Yes, I understand. Now I see it, Moscow. I even cut half, uh, through half of it. Now, recommendation from Moscow. Do you want me to use the scissors to cut the visible portion, at least? I think you can do that. Guys, I'm asking you, actually. Are we going to work with the MMOD shield right now? If yes, then... If you... Uh, use the cutter? Yes, we will use the cutter. Okay. I will try to 
secure that whole blanket with the wire tie. Let, let, let me try. I believe that what we have should be sufficient. 